world, this is Peter with a quick indoor garden update. Um, don't worry, I will show you outdoors probably later this week because the weather has been really nice today and um, it's supposed to be sunny for the rest of the week um, which has inspired me to make a video today. Again, I'm sorry for the uh, lack of content recently. Um, that's because I've been very busy with exams um, and they're nearly over so I'll have a bit more time, hopefully, to make some more videos. I'm going to start by showing you the plants that I've been growing in my bedroom windowsill. Okay, first I'm going to start with my papaya. Um, if you've been following my videos over the past few months, you will know that um, I have not really had very good success with papayas. Um, they keep coming up, then dying, and then coming up and dying again. This one here, as you can see, this is the biggest um, I've ever managed to grow a papaya and so far it seems to be quite healthy. As you can see it's got um, two big true leaves uh, as well as the two original cotyledons and also has a new true leaf coming out of the top as well. And you probably won't be able to see but right at the bottom it started putting out roots at the side, at the, at the bottom of the stem. Um, so I've put a bit more soil to cover up, and as you can see there's another little root at the side there. So eventually when I transplant this, which should be soon, because it's um, getting quite tall, um, and the roots are reaching the bottom already, so I'll need to transplant this um, soon. Hopefully it won't die this time, like the last transplant. I definitely recommend covering your papayas when you're starting them off because this definitely seems to have increased uh, chances of growing. Okay, next, what I'm showing you now is my um, pineapple seedling. Um, now, this didn't really do anything for quite some time. Um, it's still, of course. Um, and it's growing quite well at the moment. It looks nice and healthy. Um, it grows very slowly from um, coffee seeds. Next to it I have another one which, again, uh, the seed coat. As you can see the seed coat has almost come off. Um, it won't be long until this one sheds its seed coat. This is one of my other coffee seeds that um, I planted at the same time. and. The sea coat came off um, a few weeks ago with a bit of help from me because it was just hanging on so I just pulled it off gently of course um, and it's growing quite well at the moment it looks nice and healthy um, it grow very slowly um, um, coffee seeds next to it I have another one which again uh, the sea coat is slowly coming off the top but not quite ready yet. In the back there I've got some um, cherry plum tomato seedlings. Um, they've been growing quite slowly but that's probably because they need transplanting um, which I'll have to do soon. Okay next I have my kiwi seedlings. Um, now I've shown you these before and they've grown a lot since last time. Um, these need these are going to need transplanting very soon as the are starting to become root bound at the bottom. Altogether there are four um, in here now. I think there was five um, last time I showed you but um, one of them eventually died. Um, but these have been growing really fast again over the past week or so and I've put out these new leaves um, and even more leaves are starting to come out from the bottom. So these will have to be transplanted in the next couple of weeks. First of all I'll show you the um, other kiwi seeds that I started. And these were started at the same time as those other ones but just look how much smaller they are. These kiwi seeds have also been putting out lots of new growth recently um, which is probably due to the slightly warmer temperatures. Uh, this here, I believe, is a clementine seedling. 
if, I'm quite sure it's clementine anyway. Under this little um, yogurt pot I have a few plants that have been uh, growing under there. I think the extra humidity does seem to help. Um, now these are all completely different um, plants that are under there, they're not all the same. These here are um, lemon seedlings and these are actually from one uh, lemon seed uh, it had two embryos inside so that makes it a polyembryonic lemon seed which means that um, it should be true to type um, according to research on the internet. Next to it is another papaya. Um, this one came up another week or so after that big one I showed you earlier so it isn't quite as far on in development and what you can see in the back is actually a chilli, believe it or not. <laughs> um, the leaves have been curling up because it's been pressed against the top of that container which is probably telling me that it needs to be transplanted into its own container. Now this is my dragon fruit seedling that you know the very first one that I showed you um, that came up um, this is it now um, it's grown an awful amount um, over the past couple of weeks. In fact, it's probably doubled in length in the past two weeks, um, which is quite phenomenal, really. Um, and again, I think that's due to the extra humidity and sunlight that it's been receiving. I'm probably going to have to transplant this again soon. Um, probably put the soil a bit higher up as well as it's becoming slightly off balance but I'm quite happy with the um, progress of this one seedling here and it's starting to look like a proper cactus now <laughs> okay in this pot here um, I transplanted one of my lemon seeds um, you probably haven't seen I don't think you've seen this one yet uh, I started it I think in February, maybe January. It was growing quite well um, in that in a small pot that I had, but um, because there was two in there, I decided to um, transplant it into this bigger pot to uh, try and encourage um, new growth because it hadn't grown much recently. Now over here, um, I have a few different pomegranate seeds that I started. Um, I've shown them before, but there are a couple of others in there that just popped up about a month ago uh, that you haven't seen now, um, that you haven't seen before. Uh, there are four in there altogether now, whereas there was uh, just two before. Uh, this one is the, one of the largest ones I have, and the oldest, um, which has started to um, side shoot at the bottom there. Still very leggy, uh, I had to put some support there to help uh, help it from falling over. And they're going to need transplanting soon, because they're already getting root bound at the bottom. Um, over here I also have some more pomegranates. Um, these two, again, about the same age as that, the tallest one. Uh, these had to be supported with a little toothpick and a little wire twist thing um, to support it up there. Um, they're starting, I don't know, they, they don't look as healthy as the other ones. It's starting to go a bit more yellowy coloured and not growing as vigorously. Um, but hopefully the extra sun that we're getting this week should help. So hopefully you enjoyed that short indoor garden update. Um, again, I want to apologise for the lack of videos recently. Um, but I have lots more planned, don't worry. I'll probably upload another video this weekend. Um, who knows, there might even be two. Oh, and also, um, you can also follow me on Twitter and have a Facebook fan page. Um, I'll put the links in the description below for both of those. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.